What is good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Man, it's been a minute. So it's been a quite a while since I've posted something, and I have a very good excuse, but it's a long story. Long story short, uh, I lost the ability to record um, a lot of audio uh, into Pro Tools uh, because certain updates uh, between my software and my hardware uh, kept causing things to freeze and, and I didn't know how to fix it. I spent so much time online trying to figure out how to do it. So I ended up just buying more hardware in order to finally get to record something to present to you guys. And I'm so glad that now <laughs> after a couple hundred dollars later, maybe even more than that, uh, finally figured out a way uh, to record the way that I like to record uh, into, you know, all these different aspects, whether it's the this little GoPro here or the camera here and a couple of different mics. I just want the quality to be good and uh, that the content suffered because of it and I apologize, but I'm back in business and there's so much stuff that I've missed over the last three or four months. Um, you know, there's, a, there's been a lot going on in the world. Don't wanna dig into that because you all already know, we're all living it. So I just kinda wanna jump into the music and I'll talk about things uh, that I've picked up along the way, products, uh, sounds, you know, all kinds of different stuff as I go through. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make a beat. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna create. That's what my focus is gonna be today. Uh, Cause there's a lot of different stuff that I wanna cover uh, over time. And I, I realize that I'm late on a bunch of different stuff, but that's okay. That's okay. It's better to be late uh, than to not have it at all. So that's the gist of it. That's what's going on in this video. Leave a like, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and uh, you know what it is. Let's go. All right, so one of the things that has recently come out that I have not touched yet is uh, Anima Ascent. So <clears throat> I think I'm gonna try to find a loot from there. I recently downloaded uh, some drums from Count Cole. I don't know if you know who that is, but if you don't, son. That guy's going crazy on Instagram. I'll leave his uh, IG handle in the description below because he is fire and you should check him out. He's dope. Downloaded his drums. so. Uh, downloaded decaps drums. I downloaded like anytime anyone would come out with something, I would just download it. I had like half the stuff I haven't even like had a chance to dig into yet. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do with Anima Ascent. I'm gonna try to find a loop. It's a uh, another expansion pack from Native Instruments. So uh, there's a link for that in the description below as well. But I'm gonna go through some of the sounds from there. Uh, throw some drums from a bunch of different places, and then uh, there is also a uh, Rhodes uh, instruments that San JC. I don't know if you know who he is, but uh, he is an amazing uh, reviewer on YouTube. I, I went with him to um, Native Instruments headquarters in Berlin last year. He's been on the grind heavy, and uh, he just released a, an instrument that's compatible with Contact and uh, all other major DAWs out there, and uh, his Rhodes instrument sounds amazing sounds just like the original because he sampled from the original itself so i'll leave a link for that down in the description below as well if you like what you hear but very authentic sounding Rhodes instrument uh, from him with a bunch of different presets so i'll go through some of those as well as i build this track from scratch so let's get started let's start with a, a loop I'm gonna go with the loop from Anima Ascent. If I already have uh, the piano key selected. like that. I never really used this uh, loop feature before uh, in machine, but uh, I've been using it like the last six months um, and going through and just seeing what loops they have. Um, there's there's so much content uh, in a lot of these expansions that I have just missed. So recently, I've just been going through 
some of the the older packs and just you know going hitting the loop uh, icon and just seeing what I've missed over the years. <laughs> That's more along my speed, so let's uh, select that. So uh, we have the audio feature pulled up in machine. So one thing that I kind of notice that I do whenever I make a video is I, I go in depth uh, about certain aspects of machine that maybe a lot of machine users already know. So what I decided to do was to always include a secondary video where I break down maybe some simple elements of machine or maybe a little bit more complex elements of machine uh, that people may not know but there's some people that come and they just want to hear me create music so i don't want to have all this fluff uh, in between the videos i want people to see you know the entire creative process but i also don't want to bore anyone uh, with knowledge that you know they may already have so i'm going to create separate videos um, that are basically just a breakdown a more in-depth look into uh, the creative process of the track and how to do specific things, sort of like a tips and tricks uh, for machine users, um, mainly newer machine users, because I never know who's watching for the first time. So uh, included along with this video um, are some extra aspects of machine, uh, a little bit more complex, a little bit more deep into uh, the technical aspects of machine and um, you know EQing and mixing and like all these different effects, stuff like that, that, you know, uh, experienced machine users, oh, excuse me, may already have, um, but may, newer, newer people may want to know. So that's, uh, that's what I'm going to include, you know, from now on. So uh, let's get back into the video. We are going to change this to uh, a little bit faster on 30 BPM. And recently I've just been I've been trying to keep things simple. I used to, well, I mean, I still every now and then like to get really complex with, you know, the arrangements and stuff like that. But a lot of times, man, you just want a simple little groove, simple vibe. So, so that's kind of the line of thinking that I've had recently is less is more, you know, but more sometimes is, is stank face. You feel me? So now I kind of, I want to show these drums from Count Cole, man, because they are just fire, dude. So let me pull those up. So I have a little selection of drums that I picked here. I'm kind of, I'm going to go through them real quick. Yep. They just sound so good. I love them. So uh, let's just put a little groove together. For switch up, let's add another pattern, right? Actually, let's delete this. Duplicate. No, I don't want to do that. 
Here's what I want to do. I want to copy this, paste it here, and delete it. Create another pattern, and then double click. It'll add another loop. I want to bring this loop an octave higher. So I'm going to tune it to one octave, which is 12 semitones in, in uh, yeah, it's 12 semitones to tune it up an octave higher. So that's a simple way to to uh, tune it. I'm kind of thinking of ahead here as far as arrangement goes. Um, for like later on in the song, I want to switch it up. You know, a simple way to do that is to just you know uh, tune up your sample uh, to another octave and uh, keep going from there. So let's play along uh, to this track. I'm going to uh, use Sanjay's Roads. Have it pulled up in contact. So yeah, beautiful sounding keys. Uh, I'll dig into those a little bit later, but for now, let's uh, let's add along to this loop. Just something simple. So uh, let's just keep figuring out some stuff. So I'm going to play around with uh, this uh, sub and um, try to find a bass line to go along with it. Now there's a lot of distortion going on because there's a lot of signal coming off from all these different sounds. So I'm going to add a compressor onto uh, both of these. Actually, I'm going to add it onto the group um, to duck some of that signal uh, when some of the louder portions come in, like the kick or the sub. Turn the sub down a bit as well. Just get a nice even sound. This is you know, a little further on in the in the mixing process, but I kind of like to adjust it as I go. So let's add a compressor and sidechain. Let's turn the threshold down a little bit. Add the sidechain and I want to link it to the kick, which is, I think it's this one. Wait, D1, yeah, D1. Sidechain D1. Let's see what it sounds like. Now, there's still a little bit of uh, that distortion. Right around 300 hertz is kind of where uh, that distortion lies. So what I want to do is add an EQ to turn down uh, the frequency in that area. So it's usually around the mid range, around 300 hertz, where you start to have that, um, that tone that's really um, loud and causes distortion. So I'm gonna turn this down here, see if it changes anything. <laughs> Also, what I like to do is kind of browse through the kits, and whenever I want to add some little accents, I kind of browse through here and kind of listen for sounds that I like, load those kits up, and then use those sounds.
I like that. That's a Atmosphere by adding one of my favorite um, effects from Native Instruments called ROM. Oh my gosh, this thing is amazing. Added a little bit of um, delay with uh, Replica XT. Favorite delay from Native Instruments. So that's a little something something. Uh, now let's, you know, let's add a little vocal. So what I like about Splice or any of these sample loop websites is, you know, they have the ability to narrow down what you want. So I want a major. Let's try female vocal in A. Stop what you're doing. Get in the moment. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Show me some movement. We won't be broke forever. We won't be broke forever. I hope not. We won't be. You make me feel that there is nobody else. In All right, so I like that. So I use the Splice app, copy it to the keyboard, drag it over here, boom, done. AU crit, whatever that is. So let's go back into here. There it is. So 126. Yeah. Let's just load this up. Edit. Hang on, see what it sounds like. You make me feel the All right, so there's a little breath beforehand. I want to cut that out. Make sure that it starts right on. You make me feel that there is nobody else in you. I like that. Change the polyphony to legato. You And then uh, I need to change the tempo from 126 to 130. So one thing that I noticed about um, the auto detection feature is it's not always accurate. So you gotta turn it off, especially if you know the source BPM, which I know it's 126 because it says it right here. So I'm gonna change this to 126. And then the new BPM is 130. This is under time stretching. Hit apply and it should be correct. Let's see if it matches. So yeah, it's right on tempo. I don't know if it all sounds like uh, cohesive. OK, 
kicks are a little out of tune. <sighs> I hate that I hear these things. So that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it for now. You know, I kind of walk through uh, my creation process, like kind of how it is now and all the different sounds and instruments that uh, I've acquired over time that I use. And, you know, that's it. You just got to use the tools you have. And you don't have to have like all this gear. Uh, you just kind of have to have an ear for, for what you're trying to achieve. And, uh, you know, the vocals may not be completely there in, in this one specifically, but uh, kind of added to the flavor and gave it a little bit of depth when you have, you know, some some tor some sort of vocal on it. And once you start adding vocals, you're sending tracks to other people, um, you find that you don't need as many instruments as you thought you may have needed, or it may overcrowd the track and drown out what the artist is trying to say. So that's why I've kind of simplified my process. And that's why I throw on vocals at the time that I do uh, and if there's little accents and stuff that I need to add on here and there, that's uh, I'll do that as uh, as the project progresses. But for now, this is kind of like the general area of where I will reside and just kind of hone in the sounds. So that's where we're going to end it. If you stuck around this long, I want to show you a little project that uh, I have been working on. And it's uh, I'm going to release it here in the next, I don't know, I would say two weeks. I'm just trying to finalize uh, some artwork for it, um, but just listen. So this track is called Dead Boy, and it was the first track that I made after I took a hiatus because I got super busy at work and um, things got crazy with coronavirus and stuff, and I was just working like crazy overtime and hadn't had a chance to sit down and do anything for like two months. And uh, my first time back, making something this is what i made i don't know where it came from but uh i'll play it for you back from the dead boy back from the dead boy back, back from the back from the dead back from the dead boy back from the dead boy back back from the back from the dead
Oh boy. That's all you get. I'll break that down in another video because just the way that I made that, it's kind of crazy. You can kind of see here some of the, um, I, I use loops and um, the gate mode within the audio feature, like, and I'll show you how uh, all that kind of came together. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. I promise for real this time. I said this in the last video, like, oh, I'm back. And then coronavirus hit. So uh, that's how that went. But um, in the future, you'll see me here. I promise. Thanks for watching. Peace.